Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Kaz Crew. We're back with another reaction video for you guys today. It's good to see your faces. Happy Tuesday. One day closer to the weekend. Right, so yesterday we did a reaction to Quan and Vanda. Um, one of you guys let me know down below in the comment section in the comment section, sorry, that uh, Quan actually has an album out which goes alongside with the song that we've recently listened to. So I thought Going on that note and being the first reaction to Quan as we found him through Vander and you guys uh, suggesting that reaction. I thought uh, going through the comment section, seeing that you guys did say to check out more of Quan. Um, and so one of the comments listed a few songs off the album, uh, one of them being Yaka Yo. So this is the official visualizer for that. We're going to go into this video. We're going to check out the lyrics. We're going to see what the message of the song is. We're going to try and understand it. We're going to try and get the feel of it and um, and just try and have a good time alongside that. So uh, if you enjoy this reaction, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed the reaction alongside with me. Uh, again, thank you for all of the support. I wouldn't be here without you guys and it never goes unnoticed and it's always, always appreciated. So thank you very much. Let's get into this video. Dale. So yeah, straight away, look, I want to grow this. Okay, okay, look, so yes, the language barrier is always there, but you can, the English translation here is, uh, look, he said, so like some other youngsters acting crazy, I pity, right? Because the original, hang on, let's go check this out. Excuse me. I don't want to stay in one line. So in if I was going to say it in British terms, it would be we'd say lane. So I don't want to stay in one lane like some other youngsters acting crazy that I pity. Now what I get from that instantly is I don't want to be, I don't want to be categorised into one section, one lane. This is why he makes music. I don't want to be one of those people that are stuck in the same cycle as everybody else, which is kind of how I feel. This is what this channel is about, honestly. Anybody who feels the same, you know, any part of the any everybody that's a Cad's crew member, I truly believe that. Um, it's because we all have a, a similar feeling of not wanting to stay in one position, not stay in one place. And there's an understanding there. I don't want to be in one place. I don't want to see like these other people who are, you know, just stuck in that stuck in that unhealthy cycle. I'm always trying to better myself. I'm always trying to do things. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to spread the message that I'd like to I'd like others to see in the world. So I know that's a lot to say just for one couple of lines of the song so i understand it's quite an over evaluation but i do just wanted to make that point out there very very early on so let's go yep. Okay. Ooh, hustle and peace. Look at the current state of the music industry. Why uh, Why are they like that? You know, I feel like, and again, this goes back to uh, my previous reaction that I said yesterday uh, when we're talking about um, Cambodian culture and the music that comes from that side of the world. I, I was saying with absolute certainty that I truly believe that the artists that come out of Cambodia seem to have a very, very... Um, moral uh moral compassionate sides you know you kind of hear you kind of hear that sincerity like, they're not they're not about the materialistic things in life they're not about trying to prove something with the flashy cars and things like that you know their music seems to be about the the work the hustle like he said there hustle and peace literally kwan just said that hustle and peace i want to work and i need peace in life and those things are exactly what I would say I would like in my life and I strive for. I want peace and I want to work hard and I want to build this channel with you guys. 
and I just want to be left alone to do that in peace, you know? So going off that that those few statements, this is what I'm talking about. Cambodia produces authenticness, you know, authenticity. That's what I love. That's what I respect in any person, artist or carpenter or bricklayer or painter, you know, or a waitress, a waiter, anybody that is just hustling and looking for peace. I respect those people a hundred percent. So just want to say that out there. I really, really respect the insight here. I mean, the chap was up me, was up me, asking for my time. To the cow, boy, and copy, boy, copy, but it wasn't rhyme. Hustle mm. and peace. To be put plain young me. Why they being like that? But go, 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 I'm high whack. You owe me more than enough at me. I'm about to take my bra back. From inside out, set the bow, bra, set the bow, got the blind internet. Woo! See, he just said they tried to get their five minutes of fame on the internet. See, like I said before, it's so easy to go viral now for doing stu stupid things. Your five minutes of fame. But to stay consistent and to stay afloat requires dedication and hard work. And uh, I like what Quan is saying. Both, but I've only listened. This is the second time reacting to Quan. And I'm already seeing a very, very positive side uh, through his lyrics. So big shout out to Quan. <laughs> I know you want to, I know you want to, come on. Come on. Look at the word play. Look at the word play here. Look at the word play. If you want to talk about love, I want two babies in my arm. Wow. Uh, very honest opinion. Uh, if you want to talk about my life, I'd be known both. I'm a student and a professor. Okay, look look at the look at the style. One honeycomb in exchange for a single rose. Down. What does Yakayo mean, by the way? Can somebody tell me what Yakayo means down below in the comment section? Thank you so much. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing. I really like that song. I really felt like, I really felt there was, uh, there's a lot that I could relate to. Uh, I'm finding myself very relatable to Quan at the minute, just from those two reactions. I feel like lyrically, um, when he's talking about uh, what he's talking about in his verses comes from a very very good place and there's no there's no not there's a slight little bit of cockiness you know i'm the student and the professor so that's saying i've i'm honing my craft but i'm also still open to be learning and you know life is about life is always about learning no matter how good you are at something you still are always a student you know even if you're a master of your craft there's still more you can learn so big shout out to kwan uh big shout out to cambodia thank you so much for all the continued support you know what I'm saying? It means the most to me. I wouldn't be here without you guys. And uh, yeah, just have a blessed day. And I'll see you soon, yeah? Cheers.